Magandang tanghali po sa lahat. Paki-check na lang po kung may audio tayo. I apologize, medyo ano, late tayo, nag-11 minutes. Magandang hapon sa lahat. Pasensya na po dun sa ano, sa pagka-late natin. Uh, I had to adjust some things and I had to share. So, yan po una natin gagawin. Magkakalimutan mag-like at mag-share dito sa ating live. Uh, magandang hapon sa lahat. Today is still Sunday. Hindi po tayo nakapagsutil Saturday. Si medyo napagod nung ano, nung uh, nung Friday. Okay. Uh, pakicheck lang po kung may audio. Magandang hapon sa lahat. Kung marami pong may audio, check nyo po yung... Kung wala po kayong audio, check nyo po muna yung, uh, yung comment section. Kasi kung kayo lang po yung walang audio, that is a connection issue. Magandang hapon. Okay. Hi po kay Sir Edwin Bon. Cherry pa siya, rock and roll, Roberto, Vidalio, Flora, DM White, Teodoro Tiozon, Benedict Corpus, Bio Valentin, uh, Ann, Pai Beltal, Edwin Aspre, Cruel Nahera, Jackson Bago, Pito, uh, Team Philippines, Nelson Arcia Abesamis, Jairus Hart, Julius Robledo. <laughs> Rafael Borromeo Ginaayos ngayon yung garahe ko So kung may konting uh, naririnig kayong ingay I apologize for that in advance Pero hindi ko kasi ma, ma shut out yung sound So pasensya na po ko dun sa konting ingay mm. Ano to mo? Okay, guys, may request ako, no? Huwag po kayo muna mag-advertise dito sa ating live kasi medyo distracting po both sa akin at saka dun sa ibang mga viewers. And I think it's unfair rin na mag-advertise kayo dito. Wala man lang po kayong pasakadya or anything like that. Konting ano na lang po uh, etiquette. We don't do that on anybody else's newsfeed. So, ang pakiusap namin, huwag niyo pong gagawin di Well, not newsfeed, comments feed. I apologize. At saka ano, huwag niyo pong gawin di dito sa atin. Uh, magandang hapon. So, mga nakikinig sa YouTube at saka Facebook, magandang tanghali. I've said it so many times. Umpisa na nga po tayo. Game. Okay. Uh, this is something we need to consider. Uh, Nag-meeting, I understand, hindi kasi maliwanag yung CNN uh, na article. Ang sinasabi nila, last Thursday, uh, hiningan ang PCOO ng records of its 1,575 contract of service employees. Okay? On the suspicion, yan, uh, uh, on the suspicion that they are working as internet trolls. Okay? Tapos, uh, dinideny naman ng PCOO officials, pero sabi ni Senator Drilon, syempre hindi mo aaminin, Yusek, kasi ang sumasagot si Yusek Ablan. Uh, so, siyempre hindi mo aaminin yung say, kung may trolls kayo so again another form of you know parang it sounds bullying uh, slightly bullying is yung mga tipong that's, that's uh, a thinly veiled accusation that they're lying so okay uh, pero nagbibiru naman daw sabi ng article nagbibiru daw si ano, si Senator Dillon He was referring to, on the other hand, si Senator Trilon was referring to the contractual employees. Hindi maliwanag dun sa article or sa articles na nakikita natin kung anong subcommittee itong naghihiring na ito. Pero the presiding officer was Senator Gordon. So, dalawa po yung humingi, Senator Trilon and Senator B uh, Binay. Ang humihingi ng records ng PCOO, submit workers' names, addresses, educational attainments, job descriptions. Tapos si Senator Binay, humingi rin ng daily time records. O, ba? Diba? Uh, on the other hand, humingi rin ng additional information si Senator Aini. Uh, so, ang sinasabi ni Senator Dillon, syempre related ito, they can uh, inquire into this kasi humihingi daw sila ng budget. Okay. Mm, ano na nangyari sa electric fan ko? Init dito. Okay. So, in the meantime, Uh, kasi, ah, excuse me, humingi kasi ng 2 billion na budget ang PCOO. So, I think this is a budget hearing. At uh, dahil humihingi ng budget ang PCS, PCOO, de, syempre, tatanungin sila, o oh, ito, yung 2020 or 2021 ninyo 
meron kayong ilang daan na parang social media specialists na hinayar. So, ano, the suspicion is that they are close. Sinagot na po yun noon ni, ni Yusek Ablan at ang sinasabi ni Yusek Ablan, itong mga ito are, uh, yun, exactly that, social media specialists. They are uh, illustrators, sila yung gumagawa ng mga quote cards, uh, sila yung nag ensure na, nas, ano, na, na nag ensure sila na malaki yung reach ng kanilang information because, as they are saying, ito nga ay isang, ano, these are what we call Uh, government information and necessary na umabot sa publiko. So, yung paglalaganap ng ganitong klaseng information ay mahalaga and entitled to public uh, funds. Okay. Check natin. Uh, bakit natin kinoconsider itong balita na to? Hindi to masyadong nababalita. Eh. Ito, what are the projects and job descriptions tinatanong ni Senator Marcos. Oops. Ito si Senator Gordon asked the PCOO to formally submit their response ahead of the next deliberation. Uh, Villon asked if it would PCOO if they would support a bill banning troll farms being an agency accused of employing trolls. Kita niya yan? Being an agency accused of employing trolls. So yung accusation na yan, halos kasing bigat na ng as though na-convict na sila of employing trolls. But first of all, let's find out, are employing trolls illegal? Okay? Um, is propaganda illegal? No. But it's not illegal kasi hindi yan covered ng kahit anong batas, lalo-lalo na sa ating revised penal code. Ang sinasabi nila kasi this is part of the huge narrative na parating inuulit-ulit ni Maria Reza. Si Maria Reza keeps talking about fake news. So, itong troll farms, allegedly, kinoconnect nila to fake news, to misinformation. And they are accusing the government of propagating misinformation. Now, it only becomes a crime if may epekto ito dun sa ating bansa. Halimbawa, we makondena tayo internationally for something, uh, isuspend ang trade relations natin, and so on, ma-affect ang national security, and so on. So, false publications po ang binabawal dun sa ating revised penal code. Now, the question is, are trolls going to fall under 154? Dun sa uh, 154, dun sa batas po na yon, usually, ang target niyan ay ang traditional media because they talk about regular publication. And in fact, uh, possibly is limited only to traditional publications such as, but not limited to, sa mga pahayagan natin. Let's check your comments. Uy, mag- maraming salamat kay Ma'am Ninita Avan for your super sticker. Okay. Uh, okay daw yung audio. Uy, maraming salamat. Sana maliwanag. Ito, si Alfonso Serrano. Hi daw from Dohar. Pabati naman po mga kamag-anak ko sa Kamiling Tarlac. Hi, sa mga kamag-anak ni Alfonso Serrano sa Kamiling Tarlac. Okay. Uh, ben Espinosa is saying hi from New Zealand. Uh, Alex Delisa says, kung legit naman yung pag-hire at yung trabaho ng mga hina- hinar ng PCOO at hindi para maging po, di bigay po na lang yung P- ng PCOO. Well, yeah, I agree with that one. Pero first of all, we need ba ng individuals na yon yung right to give out that information. Remember, uh, kahapon, nagkaroon tayo ng issue regarding dun sa pag-release ng information on the ownership of cars by Farmali executives. And people were questioning why that information had been released. So in this case, PCOO is also being asked to release certain information which includes ad addresses ha to the Senate. Aren't we going to equate them as equal? Kung pinoprotektahan natin yung right to privacy ng family, hindi ba kapag right to privacy itong mga so-called internet trolls na inaakusahan? ba? Diba? You're giving out things like addresses. Oh, what about email addresses also? What about identities online and so on? Hindi ba meron tayong Privacy Act? Ano ngayon ang magiging basihan 
para i-release ito. Are we saying that the Senate is an exception to the Data Privacy Act? Hindi pa po yan establish So, yes, we can take offense at this because it's not clear. Sasabihin nila, ano yan, subject to process ng, ng Senado? But is it fair? Ba nag-wave ba yung mga taong to na ibigay yung kanilang personal information ng PCO to the Senate? So, I, I think that if we're going to question about, uh, we're going to defend yung mga family executives, then we also should be defending the PCOO from having to give that kind of information. Diba? At least to give them some time to secure waivers from the people who own that information and whose privacy is going to be affected. affected. So yung mga ganyan, hindi kasi ako naniniwala sa mga ganyang excuse. Eh. Kung wala ka namang maling ginagawa, bakit hindi mo ibigay? There are some things that are covered by privacy, not not just crimes. Halimbawa, wala ka namang tinatago diba, sa katawan mo, pero pakita natin yung mga pictures mo na liligo. Pwede ba yon? Hindi ba covered by privacy? Hindi naman illegal yung pagligo mo. Para syempre, hindi mo bibigay yung impormasyon na yun, di ba? What about trade secrets? Katulad nung sinasabi ni Lincoln Ong dun sa Senate hearing, ayaw niyang ibigay kung magkano yung first, ano, first, uh, what do you call this? Yung binili niya dun sa kanyang source, yung, yung source niya ng face masks, magkano? Ayaw niya because that's a trade secret. It's not illegal, but he was being forced to do it. Eh kung ma, ano, ma makita one yung mga terms nila with the with the person that he had secured it from bibigay pa ba nung tao na yon sa kanya yung susunod na mga kontrata again this activity is not illegal yet you would like to keep them private so yung argumento na yan na kung wala kang ginagawang mali pakita mo na yan is not necessarily true in all occasions okay so yung mga tipong lalagyan ko ng ano ah ng, ng CCTV yung loob ng bahay mo. Wala ka namang krimen na ginagawa so you shouldn't be able to ano to object to that. Eh kung ayoko nakikita mo kung nagkakamot or ayoko nakikita niyo kung you know uh, nakapambahay and so on. Uh, is that illegal? Are you saying we cannot say no to that? Privacy isn't just about doing illegal things. The waiver of privacy isn't just about doing illegal things. It is also about your right to one, bodily integrity, people not, not looking at you. You don't want to be questioned, even on the things that you're doing. Diba? Baka makita pa ako, kunwari, na ang, ang takaw-takaw kong kumain. It's not illegal to eat a lot, and yet it can be subject, you can be subjected to ridicule by bringing that out. But so that's that's really for me, huh? That is not necessarily true. It may be a good argument for you know, for official functions, for official documents, but definitely not for private documents, and not for private information. Sabi ni Tarapum Tarapum Westo <laughs> Tapa House, bakit? kahit sobrang occupied ninyo about things na <laughs> hindi maganda lang siguro yung camera ko ngayon <laughs> sabi ni Ana Maria ganun pala thanks po sa info dun sa mga ano but I'd like to distinguish for things that should be within the sphere of public discussion then yes we can ask for that information pero within the sphere of privacy then may mag ano yan eh mag intersect yan you're not necessarily ano, hiding anything illegal, but you don't want that to come out. Diba? Eh, yung, kunwari, the way I eat. Like, kung ang dumi-dumi ko kumain, para akong tanga. Diba? I wouldn't want a CCTV or pictures taken of me in instances where I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not doing anything illegal, yet I can be subjected to ridicule for it. Ito, what about exposing the sal end to public, which is actually a good question. Now, the ombudsman has set rules for this one. Ang sabi niya, kailangan tanungin niyo yung public official. What the ombudsman here is doing is weighing to two interests. The, the security and safety of the public official who is involved uh, and then uh, the public interest in the right to know. So, para mabalanse yung dalawang interests na yun, the ombudsman leaves it up to the public official to determine whether or not he should bring out that sal in. Now, some people think that this is wrong based on the law. If they think that it is wrong, then they are free to seek 
uh, recourse to the courts para ipawalang bisa yung order ni Ombudsman Martires, di ba? Pero, tignan ninyo, ang bilis-pilis magkaso tungkol dun sa anti-terrorism law. Pero on this salen issue, they choose not to file a case. Why? So they can keep bringing it up as part of their own propaganda. As by the, oh, sige, labas mo yung salen nyo. As long as they can keep saying, labas nyo yung salen nyo, they can criticize and be hypercritical over the president but they're not seeking to solve the problem of the president not showing his sal in or any other public official not showing his sal in now some time ago diba sinabi na yes dapat uh, naging issue yung sal in ni Justice Corona so pagkatapos nilang batikus-batikusin at i-impeach si Justice Corona the house if you will remember congress passed a rule na hindi pwedeng ilabas ang sal in ng mga kongresista now why is that did anybody question that i think there were there was critical response din naman to what congress did at the time pero nakikita natin who is filing the case here nasaan yung kaso if you think that not say giving out the sal in is uh, the, giving out the sal in is um, mandatory on all public officials and you have can cite a law on that and you think you're going to win why aren't you going to court diba? ask that question Uh, Emily Kurosaki says, yes, naniniwala ako may mga bagay na hindi kailangan sabihin. Even in the family, ang tatay at nanay minsan may pinag-uusapan na hindi kailangan sabihin sa mga anak. Eric Rivera says, thank you for all the information you're always sharing. Uy, salamat din po. Eto, uy, maraming salamat, Nathaniel Quintos, para sa ating super sticker. Lubinso says, wala na po ba yung luminous sa FB? Di ko na ma-search eh, content not found. Uh, says who? We're actually broadcasting on luminous FB right now. So, I'm not sure. Baka na ano ka? Baka na ban ka? I will search for your name later on and check. If not, why don't you, ano, you try from a different account and then follow again from that one. Mahiwaga na naman po uli ang Facebook natin eh. Uh, Manny Liwanag says, Oh, data privacy, is that the same why we don't divulge the names of COVID positives? Many are saying, dapat alam nila para aware at makaiwas daw sila. And then, another excellent point, no, Sir Manny. Dalawa na naman po ang binabalanse natin dyan. Na, ano, dalawa po ang binabalanse nating interests. Medical information is absolutely private. Okay? To the individual. The exception is in the Constitution when it is the President, di ba? But under certain conditions. Okay? Doon sa, ano, sa uh, medical information. So, uh, but on the other hand, you're right. In, co in pandemic conditions, it is necessary to be able to trace yung mga tao na may COVID para hindi ito lumaganap. Now, one of the, uh, how do you call this? One of the ways in order to find out and uh, no, to prevent people from coming in close contact with those who are infected is to bring out the names of the persons who are actually infected. But again, we have to balance the privacy of their medical information with that one. It's still a debate. Ha? It is not a settled issue. Ako, I am for exceptions during pandemic and epidemic conditions. Pero, uh, to release the information only to, let's say, a government agency, which is what is happening now. So, pag nagpa-test ka at nag-positive ka, uh, a government agency such as but not limited to the barangay where you live and the barangay where you work, they will place you and then isolate you. Diba? Or the, the lab that is testing you will inform uh, your household and the barangay where you live so that they can take you for isolation or for whatever, uh, well, primarily for isolation. So, nobody else has to know that Pero, the government agencies must absolutely be able to know that. So, that's the best, uh, how do you call this, balancing that we can think of. Subject to later, uh, uh, possible later contest in courts. Okay. Okay. Uh, Pat Mill, Maxwell says, Bakit ayaw aminin ni Madam ang tunay na relasyon niya kay Bolet? Wala siyang dahilan uh, ang data privacy. Ha? Grabe ko yun. Ako ay per personally, ayaw kong um, to delve into the private lives even of our public officials unless they affect uh, government spending. Ngayon, ang balancing dyan is 
if she has hired somebody to be her close-in political advisor and is being paid as a consultant, then as the public, we can inquire uh, as to what the achievements of Mr. Whoever uh, have done in pursuant to this consultancy. Yan ang pwede natin tanungin. Pero yung relasyon, uh, and as para sa akin yan, I'll let other people do it, pero personally, mm, um, <laughs> di ba? But, you're right that it is um, ripe for public discussion. Kasi nga, public officials sila eh. Ayaw nila to correct the law about Sal and to protect them, those enemies of Duterte, but eager sila sa Sal and Duterte. Mas better kasi ang trial by publicity, which some of the senators are doing, kesa mag-file sa court. Pati sila malamang ayaw din ibigay ang Sal and That is correct. Diba? Yun yung ano, yun yung nakikita natin. That is, anyway, that is our theory. Hindi nila kinokorek, di nila dinadala sa Korte Suprema o sa ibang hukuman para maayos once and for all. What is the policy on this one? So, nabasa yan ni OMB Martires at nabasa din yan ng Presidente. Oh, you don't agree with me? File it in court. We, they know that hindi ifa-file sa hukuman kasi what, what, what sauce for the goose is sauce for the gander pwede rin na natin ngayon hingin yung salin nila diba? Uh, sabi ni Edgardo Toledo paano kung wala po kayo saan kami makakakuha ng tamang impormasyon at least makita natin yung kabilang side ng picture para pareho kasi ang sinasalaksak ng mga bayarang media sa utak ng mga tao <laughs> well marami naman po kami to be fair di ba? hindi lang naman po ang luminous marami naman po ang nagbibigay ng informasyon thank you kay Arafat Pukaan. As per Senator Dick, bawal kumita sa <laughs> isang private company man may dealing sa government. Okay. <laughs> uh, tinatanong ni Jojo Ignacio, ano daw naging cause of death ni uh, former DSWD Secretary Dink Soliman. According to the news na lumabas, renal failure po ang alleged cause of death. Uh, for whatever it is, um, that we disagree with the former secretary, nakikiramay po kami sa pamilya nila. Celine Verte says, can the resource persons, particularly the family executives, file a case against Gordon for divulging their personal info? Because this will fall under the Privacy Act. Meron ba silang immunity as senators? Uh, actually, the Constitution has what we call a, teka, a speech and debate clause. Okay. If you look at the Constitution, ako, kahanapin ko pa yung ano, <laughs> hindi ko na-anticipate yung tanong mo. Sige, uh, Philippine Constitution, the speech and debate clause uh, im gives immunity. Ito, uh, sinasabi ng ating saligan batas, uh, no person no member of the Senate or the House shall be questioned nor be held liable in any other place for any speech or debate in Congress or in any committee thereof. This privilege is intended to ensure representation of the constituents by members of Congress. Okay, so that is what we call the speech and debate clause. Ibig sabihin, for the work that they do in the Senate or in the House, Senate investigations, privileged speeches, are covered by the speech and debate clause. Hindi covered yung mga, how do you call this, uh, press conferences and so on. Pag hindi pursuant to their work as senators or congressmen. Now, the question is, dito, and this was raised by uh, for, uh, by prosecutor Darwin, uh, Assistant City Prosecutor Darwin Cañete. Ang sabi niya, pinost yan sa Facebook. Uh, if it was, uh, and that's where I added na, if it was solely uh, divulged during the Senate proceedings, then it will be covered by the immunity. But, since it was posted on Facebook, is it still covered by the speech and debate clause? Now, Senator Trillanes says, uh, libel case says, have been, uh, how do you call this, par at uh, the courts have said that yung press conference yun know, is not covered by the speech and debate clause. So this one, uh, since it was outside of the Senate, this was a Facebook post divulging 
the no, if the the cars supposedly owned by family executives at hindi yon unang nilabas sa Senado then this will be covered by this the be covered by the speech and debate clause meaning hindi siya protected speech meaning maaari silang makasuhat that is our working theory it's not settled by the Senate but that is our theory is that since it was posted on Facebook and not divulged in the Senate it will not be subject to immunity Uh, Paul Gallardo says wala na pong epekto mga bulok na pagkritiko ng mga dilaw sa admin mulat ng mga tao lalo na ngayon uh, dahil sa pagtulong nyo lahat ang tunay na nagaganap sa lipunan yes but let's not assume that everybody can read us or can hear us diba? ginagawa nga ng Facebook ay pinatatahimik tayo yun po ang kailangan natin labanan hindi pwedeng i-assume natin na lahat tayo mulat hindi po to, you know, it won't always be the case like I said in the last live may mga nagsasabi bakit ganun? Akala ko walang korupsyon sa Duterte administration. So, kailangan namin sabihin, Madam o Sir, anong korupsyon ang pinagsasabi ninyo? Magiging korupsyon lang yan kung hindi nag-deliver o kung overpriced. E sinabi na po ng COA na overpriced na hindi overpriced ang mga face masks na dineliver ng family at confirmed naman po at covered by documents yung delivery so where is the crime di ba san magiging violation ng anti graft and corrupt practices act yan or even ng plunder act di ba uh, it was delivered it was not overpriced the delivery was made quite quickly di ba april na nanawagan sila april then and something like within a few days the official delivery was made yeah they were able to prove that they could deliver no march 25 na nanawagan ang dbm oh can you deliver can you deliver us 500,000 pieces of face mask same day nagdeliver sila para pakitang gilas Diba? Nagpakitang gila sila. So, they were given the contract to provide. So, like what I'm saying, not everybody will hear this side. Kasi, kin, ano, paulit-ulit yung reporting ng traditional media. So, wag po tayong makakampante na mulat na yung mga tao. Hindi po necessarily totoo yon. May mga tao na nadadala din ng retorika ng kabila. So, kailangan paulit-ulit natin ina-affirm na wala pong krimen dito. Diba? At least walang krimen na nakikita ayon dun sa Senate investigation. Uh, Ninoy Pascual says, dapat po pinapatigil na yung, Senate, yung hearing sa Senate, nag-spread sila ng kasinungalingan sa masa. Kulang na lang silipin nila ang mga underwear ng mga may-ari ng family kung made of gold ba mga gamit nila. Yes, as a matter of fact, I agree. And here's the thing, may narinig din ako ng kwento, well, um, nakapag-contact tayo ng mga tao uh, connected to family and we got the Uh, the story about the cars. So, as we had previously introduced, itong mga kotse na to were ordered by executives of uh, some executives of some pogos here. Uh, tapos, uh, during the time na waiting sila for the cars na dumating, nagbukas ang Dubai for, ano, for ganyan online gaming. So, they Uh, they started the procedure to transfer to Dubai. So, ibang mga pogos natin dito, nagre-relocate na po sa Dubai. Then, the cars were going to arrive. So, maglilipat na sila ng business nila padating yung mga kotse. So, they decided to sell them ng palugi in some instances. Nakakita ng business opportunity itong sina uh, Mr. Ong and other executives. Binili nila ng mura. Kasi parang ano, going away sale ang, ano, ang mga Pogo executives ngayon. Uh, yung iba sa kanila, binili nila yung cars para i-mark up nila for resale, resale later on. So, necessarily naka-register sa mga pangalan nila yon nung na ano nung nabili nila from the Pogo executives. 
So, uh, yung iba, ewan ko kung nabenta na kaagad yun. Uh, yung iba, nakarehistro pa nga dito sa mga initial na bumili from the Pogos. So, uh, alam nyo naman itong mga taong ito, naghahanap ng pagkakataon na kumita, buy and sell. Parang gano'n, uy, may mura na binibenta, gano'n, bibilin ko nga para mabenta ko later on, mas mahal. ba diba? So, ipapatungan na lang nila. Is this illegal? No, of course not. Is this an indication na mayaman sila? Not necessarily, kasi yung pag nung nilabas na, oh, they own these cars, ito yung possible na cost ng mga kotse na yun. Again, yung possible cost na yun and actual purchase price are two different things. So, even with this, ano, with these high-end luxury cars, we are not sure if they actually bought it and what what price they bought it. Like, we're not sure at what price they bought it and therefore its value as evidence of ill-gotten wealth, kumbaga, is very low. Unang-una, we don't know yet kung ill-gotten nga nung yumaman sila in providing face masks. One. Two, was the money that they used coming from their, ano, their profit from the face masks? O may pera na sila dati pa? Diba? And three, how much did they actually get the cars? And what was the purpose in buying it? Were they buying it solely for their own gratification? Or they were going to sell it? In which case, it becomes a business commodity. Diba? That you're going to sell later on. So, iba pa yon. It's not necessarily evidence na kumita sila ng ganong kalaki ng unconscionable amounts. And uh, it is not necessarily evidence na may ill-gotten wealth dito. Diba? <laughs> Okay, ito, uh, oh, yung sagot ni Chev reminds me also, dun sa sinasabi ko na wini-way ni ombudsman yung dalawang interest, safety and security of the public officials involved and the ano, the public's right to know, dun sa safety and security, tama si Chev eh, the, not just to the businessmen whose lives can be put in danger kasi nilalabas nila just how much money these people have. Yung paglalabas din ng mga uh, property at saka how much money some of our public officials have, uh, might put their life in danger. Paano kung makidnap yung anak o yung whatever, member of the household or that person himself? Because nakikita na ganun kayaman yung tao. There's a reason why we keep these things secret. There's a key reason why merong tinatawag na ano, Bank Secrecy Act. Diba? We have to keep our finances uh, we keep our finances a secret the same way we keep our medical information a secret because even if it is not illegal, then it can hold us up to danger, ridicule, or humiliation later on. Diba? Ako, ayoko mapakita yung bank accounts dahil baka makita kung ganong kapur tayo, diba? and so on. Malapit na kasi election, kaya may iingay mga, ang mga bastos na ibang senators para sa election yan. Sabi ni Pat Mill Maxwell, immunity only applies to privileged speeches. No, the Supreme Court has said they also apply to Senate investigations. So, no, I'm sorry, the Supreme Court already has ruled on that. Sabi ni Edwin Delisay, are you a lawyer of family? Then join attorney. No, I'm not a lawyer of family. In fact, I'm not practicing at the moment. So, what are you talking about? Uh, are you trying to make it look like ano, I'm lawyering for them? Are you trying to make, ano, hold up that information as a means to disparage me? Why are you even asking that? Do you also know that the attorney-client privilege is absolute? Even lawyers, the actual lawyers of Farmali, don't even necessarily have to divulge the fact that they are representing Farmali. These comments are subject, uh, can be considered really and truly unfair. Parang yung mga bumibili ng maramihan sa SNR kung may malaking discount offer or buy one take one tapos bibenta online. Correct. Uh, Joey Mancilla says, would there be a big possibility of BBM PRRD tandem since Sarah had said she is not running? I really don't like to speculate on who is going to be running on the administration side. Then, ano, then I would, all I can see right now is that PRRD is running for vice president and I think that we should support him. After all, uh, Mayor Sara has issued the call, sinabi na niya, tulungan ng buong buo ang ano, uh, ng buong buo ang presidente natin in his run for vice president. Do you see what Mayor Sara is doing? She's not, ano, she's not asking the president not to run. She's saying, oh, sige, ikaw na yung tatakbo, I will not run. 
Okay? Because they're like that. There may mga ibang mga pamilya dyan. Dalawa silang tatakbo for national position. But in their case, one will run for national position and then the rest will run for local positions. So, I don't want to speculate on who is going to be the presidential run because you know the president. He is up to something and I'm just willing now to wait for what he's up to. I, I, I cannot see it. And as a matter of fact, sa dami ng tinanungan ko na what is the president up to? So many people, even the ones who are close to him, are not sure. So, <laughs> we will have to wait. I don't want to speculate. Uh, nasan yung kay Edwin? Sabi ni Edwin kasi, then, are you a lawyer for family? Then, sabi niya, join attorney Fortune. I'm not an ambulance chaser, sir. Diba? I will not ano, I will not insinuate myself into that but I am speaking here right now as a member of the public who can comment on these issues and it just so happens that I have the information that is ripe for public discussion. Um, Jazalu Peace says, Good afternoon, watching from Iligan City. Ang sarap pakinggan ng paliwanag mo sa lahat na dapat namin malaman sa bansa. Ay, maraming salamat po. Uh, uh, galit na galit sila kay BBM dahil sa ginawa ng tatay niya. Pero hindi sila galit kay Noy Noy dahil sa ginawa ng nanay niya like privatization and demonization ng kaaway nila. Oh, we're talking about the uh, other parlor. Uh, I agree with that one that of course uh, given yun kasi they've already taken a stand diba? they've taken a stand against this administration so lahat na lang uh, eto oh, Ninoy Pascual says dati sal and ni Justice Leonen ayaw nilang ipalabas ngayon gustong gusto nilang ibaba, ilaba, labas ng Pangulo sal niya may, para may masilip na naman sila at gagawa na naman ng issue sa Senate um, thank you kay Felina Jane Beniga. Sabi niya, happy Sunday. Listen t- t- to you to prevent my brain from being li- <laughs> liquefied after reading martial law rhetorics in SOCMED. Thank you for what you do. Okay. Accurate News Channel says, oh, yung cute na name niya. Ang tanong ko lang, ano sa palagay mo sa ginawa ng Senado that they are doing that in aid of legislation or for their political agenda? Well, the official reason is in aid of legislation or oversight function um, or f- it coincides with their political agenda of course alam naman natin it's pursuant to their political agenda pero ang tanong lang is diba, once we know that we also have to understand that it is not something that we can take to court and prevent them from doing the president also indulges in politics well let's be fair Diba? The Senate is going to do that as well. Pero, ang ayaw natin ay yung ginagawa ng ilang mga senador na pursuant to their alleged, o oh, sige, allegedly pursuant to their own agenda na, ano, na they trample on the rights of their resource persons. Diba? Uh, even the, ano, the Constitution says they have to respect the rights of the people who are they, they are subjecting to investigation. So, what is all this, ano, all of these innuendo, outright accusations and all that? They're doing this because they know that the Supreme Court will hesitate in checking them because they are a co-equal branch. Does it make it right? No, of course not. But do we have recourse to the law? Well, we're not very sure about that. Uh, the Supreme Court is famously hesitant to check the powers of a co-equal branch. Uh, Fishball <laughs> Another cute name Ewan ko ba kung bakit pinipilit ni Kusi na tumakbo si PRRD Sabi naman ni PRRD na gusto niyang tumakbo para magpatuloy niya yung mga projects Pwede mo naman ipagpatuloy ni Sarah mga projects I think I'm going to leave that up to the President's discretion There is some How do you call this? I understand that there is a strategic importance to what he is doing right now as to whether he will actually run alam mo naman ang presidente he has done this thing before not ano uh, declared he was going to run then said he's not going to run and then actually run again so i think that what he does is he likes to keep us guessing so ng- ngayon na ako na ano as as things go on i ag- Actually, uh, weeks ago, I agree with you. Bakit hindi na lang si Sarah? Kaya namang gawin niya ni Sarah and so on. Why, why, you know, why 
uh, force the president he's he's in his mid 70s he deserves a break from all of this but if it is the president himself and i am seeing that there might be a strategic importance to what he is doing i am willing to wait and see Diba, matagal pa naman yung filing, uh, three weeks pa bago yung filing ng certificates of candidacy. In the meantime, uh, you know, what, what can be the strategic importance? Well, the president draws attention to himself and not to the actual candidate. That might be one thing. Diba? Uh, the other is that yung, they might be angling for certain candidates. Yeah, we're not sure. They might still be making alliances. That's another thing. Remember po that, and let's not forget this, politics is addition. Kahit tayo, pag nasa ano ha, we're online, if hindi talaga, I mean, it, if we are talking, or if you see something posted by somebody who you are sure is not willing to be corrected, the best thing to do is not to react and not give them any traction. Diba? The, and then, we just explain to people who are neutral, we can bring over to our side, or to those who are on our side, who will have their own doubts. Uh, sabi ni Junior, uh, about the Yellow Ribbon Committee, hindi ba pwede? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> na, 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 delayed reaction ako. Hindi ba pwede natin balikan yung mga yan kung halimbawa mapatunayan na totoo ang side ni File doon na ayaw niyang ibistigahan ng technical cement smuggling ng anak ni Lacson. Pwede natin kasuhan ang buong komite na yan kung mapapatunayan naging nagago lang nila ang taong bayan. Well, what you do is you file the graft case against the ano against the sun later on di ba uh, thank you kay Nihar Esmula silent supporter daw siya from Kuwait Uy. <coughs> excuse me ah no water eto sabi ni Chev kaya puro like retweet and share ako ng mga information sabi ni Chev information sa SOCMED sa halip na makipag-engage sa kanila that is correct uh, ICC has expressed that they are now prepared to investigate HR violations by PRRD why only PRRD why not the actual police personnel did the violations actually it doesn't say PRRD if you look at it the drug war that ang nagsasabi na lang na PRRD yung kabilang parlor at saka yung mga media but it's actually a uh, the drug war ba? I saw a document subject to verification that says that the drug war uh, dates back to 2011 so iimbestigahan nila pati yung previous to the administration of the president but wait had that subject to verification Noel Mental says, maganda pag natalo si Gordon at Laxon, tsaka umpisahan ang investigasyon sa dugo at semento, tapos tatuhin silang gaya ng ginagawa nila sa mga resource persons nila ngayon. Ang saga, ya, siguro makita niyan. may matandang troll dito sa ni Mark. Okay, uh, let's not give it more traction if there's a, a troll and then just point them out to me so that they can be ano, either muted or removed. Pero kung subject to discussion naman and we just don't disagree, wag naman natin tanggalin all the time, di ba? Alex Catalan says, there's a coordinated effort by mainstream and their SOCMED accounts. Naging buzzword nila is Marcos enablers. It's like may Viber group sila ready to hype their narratives. My observation. And I think that's an excellent observation, actually. Um, that's why we were pointing out, etong ginagawa ng Senado, they're closing in on PCOO's alleged laws, alleged government laws. Bakit? Because they want people to be afraid of posting. Di ba? They want people to, ano, to think twice. Baka makaladkad sila. Di ba? In, in the resolution nga, there are certain uh, SOCMED personalities who are actually mentioned. Kaya kay Senator Pacquiao lang kami na mention in Luminous. Pero, dun sa kay, ano, sa iba, then there's SAS who has also been mentioned. I understand TP has also been mentioned in other resolutions. This is, ano, what they, they're trying to impose what we call a chilling effect. Uh, so that we will think twice about what we're going to put. 
there and then will be subjected to a Senate investigation similar to what they are doing to Farmali. Haha! <laughs> Sabi ni Nilo Rentasida, uh, ay, uh, pwede ba pala uh, ngayon yung ginagawa ng politiko na magkaroon ng ad sa YouTube? Oo, pwede yan. Celine Verte says, is it true that the Captain Filon is found guilty by Supreme Court on rice smuggling? Guys, you really have to read carefully, ha? Huh? First of all, the Supreme Court only upheld the warrant of arrest. He has not been convicted. It has not gone to trial. So that's what the Supreme Court is saying, is that the finding of probable cause and therefore the issuance of the warrant of arrest is upheld by the Supreme Court. Uh, most, you know, uh, there is additional stuff, but that's primarily the reason why the Supreme Court weighed in. They're only saying that the warrant is valid. You cannot, uh, Captain, uh, well, former Commissioner Fildon had filed a motion to quash the warrant in the Sandigan Bayan so the, to indicate that there is not enough evidence to proceed with trial because probable cause had not been established. So, uh, please don't believe what other people are saying that he has been convicted. He has not been convicted. The case is still in court. Diba? Now, as to why uh, former Commissioner Feldon released the information allegedly about Senator, Sla Senator Laxon's son's alleged activities with the BOC uh, is also what we would call in communications a strategic response. Diba? Ang ginagawa ng, uh, ng Senate and some of the senators is to bring these things out. Diba? And to then to skew the communications to make it look like Comfile Don is already guilty when actually he still has to go to trial. Uh, Comfile Don, former Comfile Don, had several cases filed against him, but those cases, most of them have been dismissed, and it is only this one that is still surviving. That is what I understand from his post. Okay? Um, furthermore, <laughs> We know the details of the alleged rice smuggling issue, but I think it might not be a good idea to discuss the merits of that case right now because it might be considered sub judice already. It's with the Sandigan Bayan. Suffice it to say that ako, uh, I am confident that he will be acquitted later on by the Sandigan Bayan. And anybody who's going to cast aspersions about me being the lawyer of uh, Comfile Don, understand this, I was his lawyer at court martials plural <laughs> during Oakwood and during the Manila Pen incident okay uh, we still lawyer for him occasionally for military related uh, activities or activities relating to his service in the military a rock and roll says ano pong tingin nyo may mali po ba si Senator Amy bakit yung ibang tao kinikwestiyon bakit daw kasama siya pag iimbestiga sa Senado. Sa tingin ko kasi nilalayo lang niya si PRRD sa mga sangkot sa investigasyon. Uh, I have my theories but since it's really in the theoretical stage, I don't want to uh, to push it forward. But diba, uh, right now we are not sure about uh, what the outcome of the filing of certificates of candidacy are going to be. Uh, will the party of BBM be against the party of the president or will it not? So that might also be election related. So it's not a good idea to propound these theories right now. Let's just check what she's saying. But actually, dun sa ano, uh, sa dito sa what she said oh, here, ang nakalagay dito is that what she asked are, what are the projects and job descriptions of these employees that are so technical and so specialized that no permanent government employee can possibly inform them? So, I'm not sure based on a single statement like this that I am willing to pass judgment on uh, Senator Aimee right now. I need more information about uh, her activities. But right now, I cannot, you know, I cannot say what her interests are here and why she is joining the other senators or is she in fact joining the other senators PRRD is a tactician in politics 
um, kasi kaya niyang palabasin ang mga may hidden agenda na galit kasi tiklo niya sila sa kanila. Well, I would like to consider him both a strategist and a tactician and understand that those are two different things. Um, but why do I say the two different things? Well, strategy is the overall plan and then it's, it's the big picture. Tactics are the small picture, particular actions. Stick Min Bro says, sa inyo lang po may pagkakamali bang sa inyo lang po may pagkakamali bang gobyerno sa pakikipag-deal sa farmali or wala like i keep saying there's no crime ginawa lahat sumunod naman sa proseso may bayanihan law naman that waives certain requirements so ang nakikita ko walang pagkakamali ang gobyerno that's my opinion as strictly my opinion based on what we see in the senate investigations so simply lang down you boil it down procurement is simply about this who gives the mo- who prov- uh, delivers most expeditiously at the best price possible now the best price possible isn't just determined by actual market value uh, when you are bidding something you look at those that have been presented hindi ka titingin no, dun sa prevailing market value necessarily. Kumbaga, uh, usually ang bids and awards committee, nakatingin sila dun sa mga bidded amounts. And usually, they choose the most expeditious based on what the bidded amounts are in relation to each other. So, wala rin ako. E plus, COA already said, no overprice, even based on prevailing market prices at the time. So, what is there to say na nagkamali ang gobyerno other than the innuendo that is being propounded by certain senators? Diba? Jamil is asking about the ICC issue. Since PH ended ties with ICC in 2019 lang, does that mean they still have jurisdiction? Yes. Dun sa allegations prior to 2019. Yes. Nakasulat po kasi yan dun sa Rome Statute. There's a provision that says that. Yes. Elcat says, in 2016, tinira ng husto ni Cayetano si BBM na bakit not participating sa corruption hearing sa debate nila. Well, that's interesting. Uh, Ninoy Pascual says, uh, that gusto ko po ang point of view ninyo, nakataas ng moral para kay Pangulo. Thank you po. Uh, Coins and Stamp says, uh, it better be clear that we're not a member of the ICC. Yes, but because we signed the Rome Statute, we are bound also by some of its provisions. By its provisions. That's why we can take a stand na walang jurisdiction ng ICC sa atin. Because the Rome Statute says that although we are under the jurisdiction of ICC pursuant to uh, uh, our signing it and to, to the acts that were committed prior to it, even if we admit that all those acts had been committed, they were not committed, one, by the state, and two, that the state is addressing it. Also provisions that are in the Rome Statute. So, hindi, don't say that we're not covered by the ICC. Simply ganon. Hindi po. We are not covered by the ICC because the ICC has not taken into consideration the working courts. Okay, hindi dahil nag-umatras na tayo sa ICC, it's because the Rome Statute itself says that we are no longer covered. We are not covered uh, that the ICC cannot come in on an issue that is already taken cognizance of by the state. Ah, uh, I see. Sabi ni Martin Lau, walang mga ganitong lawyer vlogger tulad nyo sa kabilang side na nagla-live, puro post-post lang kasi wala silang mailalaban at alam naman nilang puro kakupalan lang sinasabi nila. Eto, sabi ni Red October, well, I like yun eh, ano na kaya nangyari sa kaso ni Trillanes kay Gordon related sa PRC corruption ng 2017? I understand that has either been archived or tapos na po yan. Uh, ay, no, tapos na yon, And he has been, uh, for lack of a better word, acquitted or dismissed yung kaso. Uh, Jose Illumin says, ngayon hindi na tayo member sa ICC. Pagpapatayin na yung mga pusher na yun. Oh, I'm going to have to take out your comment. That's going to put the account in danger. Uh, shoot. Ah! Okay. I'm just going to have to put you on timeout. Please don't do that. Uh, okay. 
we don't encourage people encouraging crimes. Okay? Uh, we don't want people to incite to murder. We don't want people to do things like that. Why? Because we subject as a, even you know, we we are not worried that that you know that we cannot control drugs simply by following the law. We can follow the law, but we need certain new laws, diba? which the legislators have not been cooperative about. Okay? Pero para sa akin kasi, even with all the rights in the Constitution being respected, we can still go after them. Diba? We can still... Uh, the, the, so, yung mga ganyan, those are shortcuts. It means you don't trust the system anymore. And ako, I do. And I think that if you are good enough in in understanding these rights and all of that, you will be able to uh, convict and convict and then imprison all of these people who have been violating the Dangerous Drugs Act. So, let's not resort to shortcuts like that. Ano ba ang ano, kinaiinisan o kinatatakutan natin? For these crimes, alam nyo ba, hindi siya bailable. So, even while they are undergoing trial, nakakulong sila. Kung worried kayo na may maaakwit, you should just see how many people are already in jail for that one. The law is actually if you read it, is so skewed already in favor of law enforcement. So uh, what do we have to uh, what do we seek to prevent? And remember, go back to what the president said. The president never at any time encouraged extrajudicial killings. Never did he say kill all of those people, kill drug pushers or drug ano, or, or druggies. What he said to the police, and let me be precise, is that if your life is in danger in executing these laws, in conducting these busts, if your life is in danger, shoot back and shoot to kill. Why? Because these, uh, the, the people that they are up against, the people that they are trying to arrest, will not think twice about killing the police. They will not concern themselves. Wala silang pakialam kung may collateral damage dyan. That is what the president is saying. Pero ang ginagawa ng media ay minimiscote siya or iniinterpret yon as saying that the president issued an order to kill drug pushers. He never did that. He's too smart to do that. Daw, sabi ni Ronald, si Lenny, lawyer naman yon with matching radio program, kaso hindi mo malalaman na lawyer siya until she says so. Uh, Senate investigation and aid of legislation, wala naman masyadong nangyayari, ginagawa na lang para sa media mileage, matagal na ang ganitong gawain ng mga politiko. Well, yeah. Okay, let's deal... Uh, very quickly, there was a question about yung mga pinost ni uh, former Commissioner Fildon. So this one is the Affidavit of Signing Authority. Florencio del Rosario signed an authority about who the official person who will be dealing with the BOC is. And this is not the really, this is not a, the this is not uh, it's Carmina Joy Uy, no? This is not uh, the son of uh, uh, of Senator Lacson, but according to the same, ano, the same, how do you call this? Post by former Comfile Don, it was the son of Senator Lacson who was negotiating with him for allegedly the release of misdeclared uh, items that he had imported. So, ang sinasabi ng iba, wala naman sa dokumento dyan yung pag-identify sa anak ni Senator Lacson. Well, uh, it doesn't have to be a document. Ganito yon. I understand that the posting of these documents are sufficient to give rise to further investigation. Not necessarily for a uh, probable cause here, not, not necessarily for probable cause or even for conviction. Why? Because if I were uh, compiled done, I will release just enough to start an investigation and keep the most incriminating ones to myself later on for trial so that yung kalaban ko cannot get ready for it. Diba? Para, ano, in court, lilalabas mo na yan. During pre-trial pa lang, ilalabas mo na yan. Pero, before pre-trial, they can keep 
the more incriminating evidence to themselves. That's if I were doing the strategy or the tactics for ano for Comfile Don. Which that's why hindi ko hahanapin ng iba. But certainly these documents indicate something coupled with his narrative. So you don't take the documents by themselves. You also take his narrative because I understand that having been brought this out, he would be. Uh, it would be a good conclusion or a reasonable conclusion to say that he would be willing to attest to this. So that is additional information. Now, this document, according to the Post, says, Ito ang dami corporation ni Panfilo Lacson Jr. Iba ang nakapangalan na may-ari, pero noong nagkaproblema ang shipment nila, siya ang pumupunta mismo sa customs para subukin aregluhin yung problema ng shipment nila. Okay? Alright, let me go back to your questions. Uh, uy, thank you kay Brada. Uh, just an if question. If PRRD wins his VP and for some reason he couldn't continue, can he appoint someone to take over his position? What's in the law regarding that? It's better not to have named na ano, ano, si, ano, si uh, Presidente. Any person who becomes VP, if they cannot continue, then the president will appoint from a member of the House or the Senate. That's what Gloria did, remember? Nawalan siya na. She, uh, she was the vice president of President Erap. When President Erap was uh, allegedly ousted, <laughs> uh, Vice President Gloria became president. So, since vacant yung office of the, pres the vice president, she appointed Senator Gingona to be her vice president. So that's how it goes. It's not succession, ha? Don't think that it's the Senate president who automatically succeeds. No, it is uh, the, the president appoints. So that happens when the vacancy is with the vice president only. Okay? Kasi ganun din ang US, eh. Uh, I saw a video, sabi ni Ben Espinosa, of Admar Valindo interviewing Attorney Valera about ICC, where in the U.S. created the law making it a criminal offense for ICC or any of their agents to indict any military personnel from Afghanistan who are going to be investigated for judicial. Uh, there's a difference between judicial killings and extrajudicial killings. Huh? Very interesting po. By the way, ako po ay first generation Air Force brat from Fernando Air Base. Hi po, kamusta po to your family? All right. Uh, the U.S. is not a signatory to the ICC. Okay, so dun palang mag magkaiba na tayo. Uh, next, uh, extrajudicial killings ang binabawal. Judicial killings are, ano, uh, halimba, the, the, an example of judicial killing, well, the only example is a death penalty. Uh, so... Yes, it's interesting that the U.S. Kasi, but I understand that's largely political. That might have been during the Trump administration. But uh, please take note that the U.S. Na, uh, the U.S. is wait, sorry, sorry. The U.S. is a signatory, but they do not take part of the in the ICC because they have not ratified it. So actually, bawe, uh, pumirma sila pero hindi sila nagpasa ilalim sa ICC. Wolverine asks, where can the president reside? If he becomes vice president, since he can no longer be in Malacanang, his power will not be with uh, that of the president. Well, the vice president, since there is no official residence of the vice president, he or she can, uh, no, he can look for one. So, Vice President Jojo Binay had the Coconut Palace, and uh, see, Vice President alleged <laughs> Lobredo <laughs> told Vice President Lobredo uh, has chosen the former Boracay Mansion. Uh, Fermin has asked a question we've answered. Can they file a case against the ten senators for invasion of privacy? Uh, in theory, they can. I'm not sure if they will want to, but in theory, yes. Um, Mary Grace Bonson says, I think dahil na me media attack si Fildon sa Senate noon at di siya binigyan ng chance to explain tinabla siya ni Lacson para patahimikin takot si Lacson binlak siya agad that's a good working theory if the ICC finished the investigation and have enough evidence to prove guilty of the accusations and PRRD wasn't a public official anymore can the ICC issue a warrant of arrest 
and arrest PRRD or does the ICC not have any power to arrest someone over our country? You have to make a distinction, huh? Okay. Can the ICC issue a warrant of arrest? Yes, they can. Mm, even if he's not a public official anymore. Like I said, these are for acts committed before, not for the acts committed now. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> and it, his current position is not an element or a factor. Uh, uh, this power to arrest someone over our country. No, they have no power. Ganito, ha? They can issue a warrant of arrest. The warrant of arrest doesn't cover a country, it covers a person. So, over that person, the that warrant is, you know, it's valid. So, pag pumunta yan sa, ano, let's say, uh, person X, may warrant of arrest from the ICC. He is a resident of the Philippines. The, the Philippines, not recognizing the jurisdiction of the ICC, remember the rule on sovereignty, yeah, the countries can decide. So we, are, we have decided not to recognize the jurisdiction of the ICC over us. And we can refuse to allow uh, ICC officials or any persons who are going to target, going to serve that warrant of arrest in our country, uh, we can bar them from that. So uh, now, if person X goes to another country, that country is still a signatory to the ICC. That country can decide to serve that warrant on person X. Or they can also decide not to. That's it. Uh, Pat Mill says the EJ case in ICC will never prosper as the only evidence of Delima on EJK was her televised admission of being Ronnie Diane's extrajudicial cabet. Uh, like I keep saying, I don't really like being dismissive over the case. Um, the fact nga that there isn't enough evidence, it should not have even be opened for investigation. And yet that has happened. And that, you know, it, that's why we should concern ourselves with that. We should, in fact, make this a campaign issue. The next president, can they guarantee that they will continue to take this stand that the ICC has no jurisdiction over the Philippines? Diba? Stop being dismissive. That's very dangerous, even for us. <sighs> LMX says, anong reaction mo sa pinakita ni Gordon sa hearing na si Alan Lim na involved sa drugs kasama si PRRD at Michael Yang? Ang pideya nilinaw sa house hearing na di naman pala si Alan Lim. It's a fishing expedition and it's called guilt by association. That's why matagal na natin sinasabi dito na we don't like the idea of guilt by association, di ba? Yung, kunwari, uh, nagpa-picture ka with somebody, then that pic that person, na yung nagsabi, oh, pwedeng pa selfie, ganyan-ganyan. O di sige, selfie naman kayo, di naman kayo magkakilala. But that's guilt by association. Remember, we brought up the idea of guilt by association in red tagging. That's the problem with red tagging. Nga, diba? Yung sinasabi mo na, ikaw, uh, aktivista ka. Being an activist is not a crime. Pero sasabihin mo, yung aktivista, terorista, kasi kaibigan nila yung mga terorista. Alright? Uh, uh, aktivista, kasi uh, related sila dun sa mga NPA. Oh. That's guilt by association. Unless you have evidence that that person is uh, committing acts of terrorism, financing the, ano, the, the terrorist acts or the terrorist organization declared, which the NPA is not yet even done. Uh, they're, uh, they're designated but not pro, uh, subs proscribed as a terrorist organization. That's guilt by association. Okay? So, yung ginagawa ng Senado din, that's guilt by association. Oh, may picture itong mga to with this known drug lord. Ayan, ibig sabihin, involved kayo sa drugs? Ganun ba yon? That is not going to be accepted by any court in the country, not even for probable cause. Especially if that stands alone. You have to show additional evidence. Now, may sinasabi ng PIDEA, hindi naman yan si Alan Lim, that makes the, Senate, the senator who presented that even more not credible. Diba? Melvin Hernandez says, sabi ni PRRD noon, walang publication. So from the start, di tayo naging member ng ICC. No, I disagree with that. Ganito po yun. Um, 
uh, that's one of those legal points that uh, I have disagreed with the president. Yung publication yan, it binds people here. That's why we, our laws say, diba, our civil code says that a law shall be, uh, shall come into effect 15 days from publication in the official gazette or in the newspaper of general circulation. So, ang sinasabi niya is hindi daw na-publish yung uh, Rome Statute dito locally. So, but that becomes a local issue. It does not bind anybody here. Uh, we don't uh, impose the Rome Statute on our citizens since it was not published. But the international agreements, they don't depend on the local, ano, the local details. Para sa kanila, if you sign the agreement and you send the instrument of ratification, you bind yourself to it. The local, ano, the publication is of no moment to the International Criminal Court. So that is incorrect. And the President has not repeated that. We disagree with that one. And I think he has already been corrected by uh, Spock Sari Rope. It's not wrong to tell the President when he is mistaken on points of law. Ha? That doesn't mean that he's a bad lawyer. It just means that in this particular instance, he may have not ano, uh, understood. Hindi naman siya ano, nag-practice ng international law. Diba? In fact, I don't know if anybody actually practices international law here. But Spock's Harry is, the, is an expert. One of the experts on it. Sir Flabby says, kaya, ay, Flabby Serapico says, kaya dapat ang ipota natin yung mga sisiguro na hindi pa pabayaan si PRRD kapag wala na siya sa posisyon. Or even if he's vice president, di ba? Kasi baka pabayaan na lang si PRRD na harasin at ipakulong na ICC. Yeah. So since signatory ang US ICC, kahit hindi nila niratify, does that have the same effect to the Philippines? Niratify po natin ang Rome Statute. Hindi tayo pareho. Sila binawi nga nila eh. Wait, double check ko ha. Wait, wait, double check ko. Philippine Senate Ratification of ICC. Yeah, we ratified it. So, there's a difference, ha? Sa US, the failure of the Senate to ratify, hindi sila nag-deposit ng instrument of ratification. So, hindi bound ang US by the ICC, by the Rome Statute. They, we can use the signatory, the signing by Bill Clinton of the, the Rome Statute as possible evidence of customary law, meaning that they are uh, subscribing to the tenets that are written in the Rome Statute, but certainly cannot bind them as uh, being bound by a treaty or an, a convention. Magkaiba po yan. Roger Rachman says, ICC has not been able to investigate Israel for its crimes against Palestine, uh, such as apartheid and illegal occupation, despite the fact that their guilt has been established as early as 2014 by Amnesty International. Amnesty International is not a court. Can it be credible to the international community? Please understand this. AI is an international organization. It is not a court, and they take as definite political stand on things. So, uh, the credibility of IA has, on, on several occasions, been questioned already. So, you take that for whatever it is. But the you say that guilt has been established by AI. No, it has not been established by a court. It has not been established uh, after due process. Okay, so yung mga ganyan. Um, uh, the ICC's failure to take cognizance of certain issues such as that, let's say, uh, Israel or certain uh, other states and, and so on, uh, just goes into their credibility. But what, what will you do diba, about that? The, the problem is that credibility is not something that you can raise as a defense in your hearing. Diba? It's not a witness whose credibility you can attack, but even witnesses whose, whose credibility can be attacked. If it is not germane, if it is not related to their testimony, then it's nothing. It's valueless. Why are the resource per spokes, uh, per speakers not invoking the rights against self-incrimination? <laughs> It depends kasi on what their answers are. But also because the 
the senators are always threatening them with contempt. Ah, ayaw mong sumagot? O, pakulong ka namin. Oh, so, it now becomes ano, uh, uh, an issue that they will have to take to court to defend. Uh, I'm not angry. <laughs> na ano lang ako. You're right, eh, nakakaubos ng pasensya minsan yung ginagawa ng Senado. Um, pwede po bang idemanda pag ang private text message at nag-photoshop, guys? Uh, nag-photoshop ng picture gaya ng evidence na ginawa ni Senator Hantiveros during the Senate hearing. The problem nga is the speech and debate clause. Kapag in the course of the Senate hearing, they will claim immunity. So, it's immunity from suit, ha? Hindi sila pwedeng idemanda. Or, di ba, they will just have it dismissed on the ground of their immunity. It's absolute in the Senate investigations and in the, ano, and in privileged speeches. Guys, huwag pa ulit-ulit naman. Andy Tejone says, pwede po bang buksan uli yung suhulan sa sup Okay, Justice Corona, nasangkot si Nadrilon, Soto, Gordon, Escudero, Ligarda, Lapid, Gingona, or uh, galing sa PIDAF and DAP, yung pinangsuhol ni Noy Noy. Bakit tatlo lang nakulong? Pwede bang mag-testimony uli si Napoles at Gingoy? I think that that the, the administration has never stopped working on that one. It's just that uh, the primary, ano, the primary witnesses are unwilling to witness. Yeah. Chef says, kaya nga sa balota lang ang tanging paraan para makaganti tayo sa mga incompetent re-electionist na senador. ICC certainly backed up by transnational private companies and individuals who are against our president, sabi ni Coffee Buddy 143. I have the suspicion terrorist groups in the CPP, NPA, NDF are in tandem to bring this government yeah, down. Yeah. Checks and lines says, unfair pala yung immunity nila. Ganito po yun, ano? Every time we make a conclusion like that, unfair, biased, and so on, you have to have established standards for that. But it is this, the ano, constitution that allows it. Yes, it violates our sense of fairness. I agree. Nakakairita. But what is your recourse? O pwede tayong magalit, eh, blah, 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 and all of that. But is there value dun sa galit natin? Only if you channel it into an actual solution. And the solution here is not to vote for them again. Karen Minyao says, correct me if I'm wrong, pero di ba nagsabi na COA na walang overpricing at corruption regarding family business? Yes. Nakahingi na ba ng request si Dilonso Ombudsman para siya mapagbigyan nito sa investigasyon din ng family? May statement po si Senator Dilon, I think yesterday, na sinabi niya siguro oras na na i ano ipaubaya or bigay ano na naimbestigahan ng Ombudsman ito dahil asa do brand dami daw na ebidensya na lumalabas at saka ng COA. So that's what he's saying. I don't know if he's actually putting that into something uh, like a document. Uh, referring the case to the ombudsman and to COA. Sino nakabasa ng balita kay sa paggisa kay Lorenzana dahil sa Gripen deal? Kahit todo pilit siya sa F-16 kahit may budget constraints. What did they ever see in him? He kisses feet kahit walang kapalit. Uh, there are political considerations to this one that we cannot discuss unfortunately. Alfredo Gade says, the ICC intended to investigate the alleged EJ case committed by then Mayor Duterte in 2011 where Pinoy was the president. Is the justice system during that time not working? If it does, why nobody filed charges? Uh, particularly the CHR, how invincible is Duterte that he seems untouchable to them even during Pinoy's term and now they ask the help of ICC to do the job that they failed to do. Uh, isn't that a shame? Hmm. Good afternoon, sabi ni Ona at Mufasa. Ano po bang rules sa <laughs> St. Chicks? Sa lupa na pagmamayari ng indigenous peoples, pwede po ba itong bilhin ng individual na matransfer ang title? Hindi po. Ang ancestral domain, hindi po pwede. Absolute po yan. Pwede lease. Uh, Jazzy says, sad to say that former DSWD, Dinky Suliman, passed away. Yes, yes. Na, nabanggit na po natin yan kanina at nakikiramay po tayo. We will take the high ground on this one. It's too soon to bring up any of the past uh, 
issues about her. So, uh, we are staying clear of that conversation for now. Princess K, K. Basco says, Sino po possible na isupport ninyo sa presidency in the coming 22 2022 elections? I have to see who's running for president. Mamaya, yung banggitin ko, hindi pala tumatakbo, kakahiya. Um, uh, it happens in the past a lot. Good thing na na-open na ang kaisipan ng tao sa mga ginagawa ng mga trapo na politician senate, lalo sa pag-grant standing. Kaya unite tayo na wag silang ma-elect. Sabi ni Andy Tocones, President Duterte, sama mo siya at hanok mga kandidato sa inyong mga senator. Uh, Defensor, Gadon, Marcoleta. Oh, I think that, ano, that kong Defensor, kong uh, Attorney Gadon and Attorney Marcoleta really do deserve to run for the Senate. Huwag nyo po akong isama. Saint Hood niya ang hinahabol natin, di ba? Nagtatanggal tayo ng kasalanan po. Kung ganun ba na na-ratify ang ICC ng Congress at di naman na-publish sa official gazette natin, eh pwede pang i-impose ang pen. Ang sabi sa inyo eh, local lang yung effect. Kahit hindi yan na, ano, na, na-publish sa official gazette natin or in a uh, newspaper of general circulation, it just doesn't bind people locally. Pero sa in ICC, bound tayo. Okay? It's not even up for debate anymore. In fact, ano eh, hindi na nga bring up ng presidente. Uh, kaya nga, kasi binababoy ang Pilipinas ng ICC ko na lahat ng mga abogado sana di sila mag-downgrade sa atin. Dahil ba, fund, what do you mean di sila mag-downgrade sa atin? Dahil ba funded sila ng mga fake human rights? Laro ng mga oligarchy yung mga pera-pera lang talaga. Well, yeah. Uh, yung mga things like uh, it's an amazing coincidence na mag-election tayo tapos biglang at the last minute the, the dying days of the uh, office of Fatu Bensuda na file yan well I don't think those are accidents di ba? hindi yan ano um, we do see the invisible hand possibly of uh, the US and so on um, that's why we don't like to be dismissive of the case Thank you for all the information. Thank you sa ano sa sa super chat JB Kurt. Tama ba? Ay. Thank you for all the information you're sharing. Stay safe. Thank you for for your super chat. <laughs> Ito maganda maganda ta. Uh, how to combat cancel culture? How to combat cancel culture? Just don't do it. And, you know, you can criticize this cancel culture. Um, the problem with these people is that they're selective. Ay, ayoko sa opinion mo. Cancel. I just will ignore you and all that. Which is something that we can do as well. Yeah, going to ignore you. Not going to listen to you. La, 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 la. Diba? Um, but it also means that they are depriving themselves of another opinion. And that's what democracy is about. Diba? Let a thousand flowers bloom. Uh, we... The, the whole idea of the protection of free speech is so that everybody can propound ideas. That everybody, uh, even if those ideas are wrong or those are ideas that you hate. Okay, I'll give you an example. In the U.S., there's like this temple of Satan, a chuchuchu, who always challenges when some of the states put in laws that Ano, that basically establish a religion or uh, include religion as part of the state policy. Bawal uh, din sa It's called the Non-Establishment Clause. It's in their in their constitution and it is in ours. Diba? No, ano, no religion shall be... You know, kumbaga, the government shall not establish a state religion. Uh, it does not... Uh, how do you call this? does not lean towards a particular religion. Pero, there's this uh, supposedly uh, Church of Satan <laughs> who always challenges those laws. So, uh, when somebody wanted to put the Ten Commandments in the courthouse, which is supposed to be a secular institution, they, co- they questioned it. Oh, sige, if you want to put in the Ten Commandments, you want to put a statue of Baphomet there, diba? who is uh, one of the major demons. So, <laughs> This is how they try to balance things. In certain schools, if some uh, teachers or the school insists on praying in the classroom, 
which violates the rights of other students who are not necessarily Protestant or Catholic or whatever prayer is going to be instituted there, or, or they don't have any religion whatsoever, and therefore it violates their sense of secularism. Uh, <laughs> oh, secularism by yung tama ba, tamang term. I may be using the term wrong. I apologize for that. Uh, at, at any rate, um, uh, so we can organizations uh, practice, practitioners of Wiccan, whether solitaires or members of a coven, have questioned these. Why? Because it violates nga, the anti-establishment clause. So, in fact, the Church of Satan, they don't necessarily even worship Satan. They just uh, created that so-called organization slash religion in order to challenge the, ano, the, the laws that were ano, establishing religions or certain religions. So that's what it means to be in a democratic state, di ba? Uh, tab- sabi ni Rain, I remember the Ten Commandments of Arkansas is that, right, tapos pina- pinarado yung statue ni ba- Baphomet. I'm not sure, na baliw si Baphomet nang nagdag sa mga dilawan sa impyano, kaya dapat gumawa ng bagong pagsakan. Di ba? Uh, Brother Aris asking kung nakita ko yung vlog ni Ch- Coach Jarrett nung tumitlop si Andanar Cade Villon. Uh, didn't we just read that out yung sa CNN? Uh, I, I know the news about it, but I haven't seen Coach Jarrett's recent vlog. I'm sorry. Kailan ka magkakaroon ng regular columns of broadsheets? I can if I want to, but I don't know if I can give it the kind of time and research that it will require. Um, Chepogi Kevara Maramag says, huwag niyo nang pilitin si Atty. Tumakbo. Gusto niyo bang mawala siya sa karambola, tambayan at malimitahan ang oras niya mag-live? Huwag ganun mga parts that support na lang yung candidates na susuporta ni sa <laughs> at Rixie. Okay, but uh, just for the record, um, I'm not interested, but if I'm called to serve the people, then I will, di ba? Anong magagawa natin? Pero I would also like to say that yung selbisyo sa bayan hindi necessarily ibig sabihin nun tatakbo tayo diba? we like to serve but running not sure really not sure about that one that's like that has a lot of danger uh, in that is democracy killing our country and people <laughs> no or is it the constitution or the deteriorating attitudes and values we acquire from the western world you're presupposing that there's something that we can blame for these things uh, like I see posts that say too much democracy or too many rights and all uh, dun sa naghahanap kay Beelzebub nasa labas po siya <laughs> where he, he he likes being outdoors so he stays outdoors uh something like 80% of the time. So, mapasok lang pagka nakikita niya nandito when the door is open. So, um, is democracy killing our country and our people? I, I disagree, no? You don't assign huge ideas and then say that they, they failed in one thing or another. It's not logical that it's democracy that killed us. You can say that a particular practice or particular law because uh, yung pag ganyang kalaki yung sweeping generalization natin, it it deprives us of the opportunity to come up with a solution or deteriorating attitudes and values ang lalaki niyan is it the constitution the constitution has a lot of good things there are things there that we need to correct but you can't say that the 87 constitution bar none is evil or or bad or that we should ano uh, toss it away because that's tossing the baby out with the bath water. Diba? Para kang nag, ano, nagsabi na, ay, hindi ako masaya sa kitchen ko, I'm going to burn the house down. That's ridiculous. Stop assigning huge ideas and then saying that they don't work. What, what doesn't work? Pinpoint the problem so that we can come up with the solution. What do you think is the problem? Ako, I think that the Senate has way too many powers. They check the executive. They hold the power of the purse. They have Senate investigations where they can violate the rights in spite of what is said in the Constitution. So what do we need? We need a law that will, will check the powers of the senators. But how are we going to do that? We can't even recall the senators because we have a recall election law, but it only happens to mayors primarily, or, or, or ano, councillors, but there's no recall for congressmen and senators. Now, how are we going to check that? 
We need laws that will address that. Di ba? Sabi ni Lelo Crosley, could the 87 Constitution be great with divisions? Uh, I don't like to say great or good or evil or anything like that because these are necessarily judgment calls that, that call for some kind of moral uh, evaluation. Uh, I would say that it is more useful, kumbaga, more, uh, more effective in governance with revisions. Uh, J. Lucinda says, what is the definition of a wise voter? The wise voter will take uh, into consideration platforms and the sincerity of the official. We will not rely on name recall or even on, ano, ay uso ito, di ba? For example, uh, I know what the program's attorney Larry Gadon wants. Now, people will try to cancel him and say na, ano, he's, ano, he's not, how do you call this? He's bastos. He says these things. Uh, and so on. He has been suspended. He has been this and that and all of that. And he shouldn't be senator. But I know the kind of laws that he's willing to propound. And I'm going to vote for him because of that. Not because he shouts bobo. Diba? Not because of the things that he does, which are, uh, you know, to, to be fair, extremely funny and hugely entertaining. But I'm going to vote for the laws that he wants to pass. <laughs> Uh, I think, for instance, that Doc Willie Ong is a good person and all that, but I won't vote for him because he's a good person. I'm going to vote for him because there's certain laws that he might be willing to pass. Diba? It, we're voting for them for the kind of job that they're going to do. Congressman Marcoleta, for me, is a good choice because he knows how to work the system. We need somebody like him conducting the investigations in the Senate for the in, for the purpose of creating better laws. Diba? He makes sense. He bases it on law, jurisprudence, diba? reason. I'm going to vote for him for that. Not because he got rid of ABS-CBN, but in the manner in which they denied the franchise, he shown because he was able to get ano, to get uh, the right information and apply it correctly. So, wag tayo magpapadala din dun sa ano, sa, sa our in home, own inherent biases. For instance, there are people that we personally know and we love them to pieces, but they run for a position na sa tingin natin hindi bagay. No, mas bagay ka dito. I don't want to vote for you for this because I think that you should be here. Which also makes me consider my stand. Bakit puro bago lang ba na senador ang ilalagay natin? I'm still of the position na dapat yung mga bago ang primary consideration natin. But the president has been endorsing even those who are not new. So, I'm going. we're going to have to evaluate those also. In general, priority ko talaga yung mga bago. But if there has been anybody who has served, then siguro yung bias ko against all of these return of the comeback should take a backseat to a more objective uh, standard. Di ba? MJ Sanchez says, Lucy Torres may sense ang sinasabi but she already announced she's not, not running for the Senate. Okay. Um, since we're talking about elections, we I'd like to remind everybody that we have to take extreme good care that, and remember that politics is addition. Let us not make more enemies than we absolutely have to. Diba? Let's not, ano, can we remove from our vocabulary yung di, ano, ang galing-galing nitong region na ito, di katulad ng Imperial Manila. Imperial Manila, by the way, is a construct. Who is in Imperial Manila anyway? Isn't it the fact that you call it Imperial Manila because you think that the opportunities and the power are concentrated here? But the fact is that the offices are only here. But representatives of Congress and the Senate come from different regions. The President himself comes from somewhere else and is not from Manila itself. So, major contradictory statement na yon. I don't want us to 
cancel, like what you're doing, people from particular regions simply because there are biases that, that we have been carrying around for generations. Elections are about getting more people to our cause and keeping those people together. So those who identify na DDS, okay, let's stop saying na hindi ka DDS, alis ka dyan, if there are people who are willing to take our side on this one. We should be supportive of opinions that support our uh, our own opinions, di ba? We should be able to defend also those positions, but mostly, let's just all stay together and keep adding people. Let's not alienate other people. That's why I am so disturbed that there are people who are saying it's PBM versus uh, the loyalists versus the TTS. There's nothing like that. No certificates of candidacy have been filed yet. If it ever comes to the point where the you know there are people who support Duterte and that uh, BBM must take an opposite stand to that one in elections, we don't have to tear each other down because there was for a time when we stood together. Diba? Hindi kailangan tayo mamersonal and we don't need to do that. We need to consolidate our side. Remember, it's elections. Elections aren't about winning arguments on social media. They're about convincing people to take our side. Okay? Remember that when things get really bad online, remember this. You don't have to convince those people who are not willing to be convinced. Don't waste your time on them. Don't waste your time creating enemies and nagbabakbakan kayo and you feel bad after that. What we need to do is make sure we hang together. And Mighty Mookie says, yes, not DDS eating other supporters. That's just mob mentality and canceling each other. Yeah. Now, for instance, there are, let's say, bloggers whom we don't agree with but who were with us before. Let's just take what the, the good that they say and support that and not support the other parts. We don't have to cancel each other out. Diba? June Arquez says, people, I think people talking Imperial Manila are referring dun sa mindset mas magaling, a level higher yung produkto ng Manila. This is true. Yung mindset po dapat ayusin. Yes, you know what? Our politicians have been making hay. They have been benefiting from the fact that we can always be easily divided before. Diba? Yun yun eh. United we stand. But our politicians, they encourage this kind of mindset. Yung mga, ah, kasi Imperial Manila yan. Ano ba akala nila? Yung mga ganyan. Ah, ganito. Ah, bisaya yan eh. Yung mga ganyan. Really? Diba? Really? In this day and age, may ganun pa? The, the power is actually already being distributed. When I was with the NCCA, when I was a commissioner, and even as legal counsel, we always made sure that the biggest budget for culture and arts went to Mindanao and to the underserved, impoverished provinces, such as but not limited to Samar and others. Okay? Uh, the, if you will look at the budget, hindi po pinapabayaan yung mga regions. We have to look closely at the local officials who are managing those that that, that money instead of you know, play, laying the blame and playing into the hands of politicians who are benefiting from our divisions. Di ba? Okay. So, let's not get caught into the yung angry rhetoric dito, yung angasan yung mga ganyan hindi necessary eh baka kumita pa yung mga trolls sa atin wag na that, you know, for instance classic case I post something on twitter and then this guy says uh, Trixie is a boring B-I-T-C-H okay. pakiko what do you think about me diba you don't answer my arguments. You just get personal. You call me ugly, you call me uh, makasalanan, non not credible, stupid, and all of those things. Really? Hell if I care. You're not somebody who's close to me. You're not family. You're not somebody whose opinion I hold in high regard. So why should I even be, ano, be, be hurt or scared by you? You're obviously not going to be convinced by anything I say, so skip. Not interesting at all. Not interested in you. Don't waste your time. It's better to keep 
our you know our discussions to those who need to be clarified and to those people who need to hear what the, what is going on diba? so para hindi sila na loloko ng ibang tao okay last daily trending is ask, asking are there any provisions against promotion of animosity to the martial law museum books and references against Marcuses and relatives guys remember this when you ask questions like that, the rule is freedom of speech. Exceptions yung mga uh, against certain speech. Like this one, you're calling it promotion of animosity. Basically, you're attacking what the Martial Law Museum is doing or is expressing through its, um, its exhibits, through its opinions and all of that. But remember that these are also opinions. And so, opinions are part of the free speech that is what we call protected speech. The, the speech that is not protected are those, remember the rule, that cause damage, personal damage, by the way, or endanger the state. Okay? That's why libel is a personal thing. Now, kung ang sinisiraan mo, gobyerno, the rule is that you combat misinformation with more information. We have to keep the public sphere free from you know, things like that na dapat parusahan. Remember, when you're looking at them, you don't like the Martial Law Museum, you don't care about what they're saying, is it, is it right that we file a libel suit or something against them and take them down? No. Why? Because it can apply to us. They can also use, cite whatever law you're going to use against us and say, oh, ayan, naninira kayo ng previous administration or naninira kayo later on. What if it's not Duterte? What if we want to say something against mismanagement? What if the yellows come back? They're going to use the same thing against us. Be careful what you wish for. Thank you sa super sticker ni Ma'am Marian. I know this is a long live, pasensya na po, but halos mo lang doon. <laughs> Walang nalagasan. ba? Uh, Ipis Dagat says, how do we know they're not exhibiting fake facts? That's one of those things that fall under let's do our research. Diba? Let's interview BBM. Let's interview people who are part of the Marcos administration. Let's hear their side. You know, ako, the reason I have gone away from from the uh, no from the uh, how do you call this from the the angry rhetoric of the Aquino administration says plural is because I have had uh, I have had the pleasure and privilege of working with people like Jaime Laya in the National Commission for Culture and the Arts. I've had the ex the privilege of interviewing uh, Senator Juan Ponce and Vila on at least three occasions. So I've had uh, the the opportunity to talk to Aimee and Bongbong, Senator, excuse me, Senators Aimee and former Senator Bongbong Marcos and got in their side of these things. So it is no longer easy for me to make judgments about the Marcos administration. The, does that mean that we we cancel everything that the Aquinos are saying or the Aquino administration or the Yellows are saying? No. Subject to verification of facts. Always. Okay? So we don't want to target the Martial Law Museum for takedown because what if we come up with our own museum? They will ask to take that down also. Diba? What if we have an exhibit on the, the era of Duterte? They'll say, cancel that. Or let's take that down. The exact same thing that we're asking them, you know, that we want to happen to them. They will want to happen to us and they can bide their time and wait. Ito, sabi ni Mang Pinay, it really bothers me how the Marcos loyalists versus DDS supporters started. May nangyari ba? I tried to reconcile them. The funny thing is, baka ako pa ang lumalabas na troll sa kanila. I think that we should just be completely aware of what is going on. Um, there are some things that the, the, that the Marcos loyalists do bring up that I think is legitimate. Um, but they're political ones that I don't really like to discuss here because they might it costs further rifts. Uh, what I'm saying is that it may be premature. How do we know that it's not going to be Sarah BBM or BBM Sarah? Diba? How do we know it's not going to be a BBM uh, Duterte thing? Uh, we don't know. So what is the point in fighting over these things? Diba? 
Ha, Roger is saying is the ICC duplicating the functions of the ICJ. No. It's not about criminal cases in the ICJ. And they deal only with states or state-like um, organizations. Hindi po lahat ng ano, uh, Ma'am Karen says, dapat kasi gano'n ang mindset. Critical thinking to do research and be open-minded to read and verify facts and legal info or docs. Kasi natural, both sides may narrative talaga. Yung mga yan, claiming what this or that happened. That's right. That's why I'm a more neutral, uh, I, I've taken a more neutral side on this. It's not about the yellows versus the Marcoses, the Aquinos versus the Marcoses. Pwede ba? Tama na yan. Because that's how it started. And are we still fighting that war? It's not about that. It's about giving credit where credit is due. Or let's say that uh, President Marcos was actually a brilliant legislator and a brilliant president for certain years. But we disagree, for instance, in allowing the military to be so harsh. On the other hand, uh, like some of the former activists say, Teka, lumaban kayo sa gobyerno tapos ini-expect ninyo that the soldiers wouldn't shoot back? Are you, you know, are you kidding me? You want to engage in a war but you don't want the government to engage in it, yung kayo lang. Di ba? Di ba? So, on that, ano, I will always never fail to remind everybody here that politics is addition. And the new thing is that I am now more willing to see where the president is taking it. So, and di ba, ano, Mayor Sara exhorted us to support her father, even in his vice presidential run. So I think that maybe we should really consider yung paghihikayat ni Mayora. Di ba? And let's trust the president's uh, ability on this one. Normally, I don't like saying that. Eh, na, alam ni presidente yung ginagawa niya. But I will still call you out if you're making a mistake. But this one, this is a political decision. I am willing to wait. It's not about law. Eh. It's not about, you know, uh, that uh, yung, yung argument niya about publication. No, on that one, no, I take a different stance. Sorry, Mr. President, that's not true. That's incorrect. The, uh, no, the, the, the law and jurisprudence does not support that. But in this case, on political strategy, I'm willing to, to trust him on this one. And to trust Mayor Sarah when she says, let's support the vice presidential candidate of the president, even if it means that she will not run. Diba? Okay, maraming salamat dun sa mga nag, ano, uh, sa mga nagpadala dun sa ating super chat and super sticker sa mabait ninyo. Maraming salamat po. And, ano, for everybody who has been, ano, <laughs> has been really supportive, so huwag kakalimutan, like and share, at huwag po kakalimutan, let's all keep hanging together. Politics is addition. Let's trust the president on his political strategy. And naman, ano, let's defend the president from yung mga... Uh, ako, di ba, sorry, na, na, kulang yung ano ko. We were talking about hanging together and making sure solid tayo. May mga nakikita ako na, ano, na President Duterte, please don't run. I, I'm sorry, but I disagree with second-guessing his strategy on this one. Particularly, if you claim to be uh, DDS, or you claim to support Mayor Sara, uh, the the call out to you know to 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 the president, I think, is misplaced for now. Right after Mayor Sara says, "Let's support the president," may ganon. I think that we should be careful to not allow our numbers to be decimated, even by people who claim to be on our side. Diba? Maraming salamat. Ano, again, don't forget. Uh, like and share, may karambola po tayo bukas, 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock and we'll see you then, ah, at meron din palang tambayan, we'll discuss more on, ano, uh, on the some of the things that we, we, we said here that need to be elaborated uh, and if you want uh, anything new to be discussed, don't, don't forget to include it here in the comment section maraming salamat, have a good Sunday everybody